Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are taking a look at PST files and the age-old question of how to import a PST file into Microsoft 365. But first, let me explain to you what PST files are. PST files were developed during the 90s and historically helped manage mailbox storage. PSTs allow the user to create a local file on disk that you can import emails into. This would give you temporary relief from storage limit warnings. Many companies also implemented auto-archiving, which automatically moved old emails to a PST file after a specific period. The issue with using PSTs is users ending up with multiple large PST files, with backup copies spread across devices and network storage locations. Now that we established how PSTs were used, does Microsoft 365 even support PST files? Yes, it does, but there is more key infos you need to know about. The desktop version of Outlook allows the use of PST files with emails stored in Microsoft 365. But using the mobile or web version of Outlook won't allow you to view, access, or search for emails within PST files. It's a massive hindrance when being on the go, trying to access data that is stored in a PST. Most users aren't even aware that their emails are located in the cloud due to only seeing the Outlook window. Once your organization has moved to the Microsoft 365 cloud, how do you import old emails and old PST files into Outlook? You can import your PST files by attaching them to Outlook. The PST will show up as an entry in Outlook, and when you've got lots of PST files, that can be confusing in itself. From there, you can browse through the PST file and copy or move data into your mailbox. The data will need to be synchronized to Microsoft's cloud, which can take some time. If you have the Microsoft 365 Personal Archive feature enabled, this is the perfect place to put all items from those PST files. You can create a folder structure that replicates the same pattern from the PST file. This can become a time-intensive task. But there is another way to migrate multiple PSTs into Microsoft 365 mailboxes. You can use a third-party tool like our very own Cloudficient PST Complete. PST Complete simplifies the whole process. There is no need to create end-user mapping files, no delays when uploading data or sending removable media to Microsoft. PST Complete has many tricks up its sleeve allowing communication with the end user on why their file has been removed and how to find the data post-migration. We look at the end-to-end -end process in preventing PST files once and for all. Are you fed up with managing PST files and searching hours for emails you need? Move your PST data to the cloud and streamline your day-to-day -day operations with Cloudficient PST Complete. Thanks for watching the video. Also, please make sure to check out our blog. It contains more topics regarding e-discovery, compliance, and migration. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, click the subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.